Hello, my name is Marcus Salinas, and I'm an Evolve 365 learning strategist with Planet Technologies. Today, we're going to learn how to be able to take a Microsoft Forms and the responses and power automate them so that we're able to get those responses in our Microsoft Teams channel. So let's get started. Okay, so here we go. We're going to be utilizing Microsoft 365 portal and in particular the Microsoft 365 launch window. So here in our waffle, we're going to take a look at the applications that we're going to be utilizing during this training. If we're going to start, we're going to be starting off with Microsoft Forms and we're going to be taking this forms and utilizing and hooking it through Power Automate so that it's able to let us know that a form has been completed. We're gonna pull that information from that form and post it inside of our Microsoft Teams channel. Uh, so let's look at how we're able to get this from information from forms into Teams. So first of all, let's let's take a look at the forms itself. And we all are experts in creating forms. And we have a pre-form that we've done to make it simpler and easier. The form we're going to be utilizing is this community volunteer registration form. Now, in the form itself, we're going to gather some information, you know, name, phone number, email address, times that you can work, what you want to do. And we're going to take this information and get it posted on our Microsoft uh, Teams channel. So let's go to the brain of all of this, which is Microsoft Power Automate. Under Microsoft Power Automate, we will create a new flow. So let's go to the Create button that we've got right here. Let's hit that Create button. Now the flow that we're going to be creating is an automated cloud flow. So we've got that right here. If we're gonna start from blank, let's click that uh, Cloud Automate form. Now let's name the flow. We're just gonna name it Volunteer Information, just so that that way we know what it is. And we're going to say, what do we want to do? We want to trigger the response when a form is completed. So let's click this one and get started. Let's hit that create button. Now, there are several things that we'll need to tell Power Automate so that that way it knows what form and what we want to pull and what information is being placed on Microsoft Teams channel. So here under the what form, we're going to say form ID. We're going to locate the form, which is this first one right here, community volunteer registration form. We're going to create another step and we're going to tell uh, Microsoft Power Automate to be able to gather the information and it's get responses that we want. And we want to get the responses from Microsoft Forms. So we're going to click the Forms button here. It's going to pull up uh, get response details, pulling that information. We once again need to tell it what form we're pulling the details from, which is that community registration. We also need to tag in the information or the ID response uh, of what that information. So let's just click right in there. We're going to create our next step uh, and it's letting Microsoft uh, Power Automate to say, hey, we want to post this in Teams. So we're going to place and pull the information to Teams. We have to let it know what we're doing. So let's go ahead and look at the action. That action is posting a message inside a chat or a channel so right here. Let's click this one. It's going to ask for some additional information. It's, of course, it's asking, first of all, who is going to be posting this? I like to leave it as the flow bot so that that way I know that, hey, it's it's the power automate. But you are able to change that to a person, which is yourself, or just a virtual agent that you've got in there. Now we want to be able to tell it what we want to do. We want to post inside a channel. And it's now going to give us more information that we need to fill in. And what team do we want to post it in? We're going to go ahead and post that team inside the beta team. And inside the beta team, we will then select the channel that we want to. We're going to put it inside this uh, community involvement team channel. And let's go ahead and create a quick message. Uh, you know, we have a new volunteer for our team. And let's go ahead and gather the information. First, we want to get the name. And as you can see here, it is now pulling what details are coming from uh, the form itself. So we want that name in there. Let's go ahead and type in the email. So we want to get that email information. We want to also get the phone number of this individual, phone number. And then lastly, just uh, the times uh, that they are available to be able to do their volunteer work. So right here, volunteer times, we're going to go ahead and do some uh, formatting to make it simpler and easier. Let's go ahead and make this bold 
and then bring this to roughly about 14. And let's go ahead and just make this just a tad bigger so that we're able to see it when we go through. Now, there will be one or two things that we're gonna do. Don't forget to hit that save button. So that way we're saving this entire form. It is saving in the process. We're gonna do a quick flow check to make sure that we've gotten everything quick. And where that flow check is at is right here. It's gonna be uh, taking a look at, did we do everything correctly? It looks like we did, fantastic. So let's go ahead and back up. We're gonna go ahead and click volunteer information. We are then going to take a look at, yes, that flow is ready to go. This is just some detailed information about our flow. That flow is able to be found once again in my My Flow, so that that way right here, volunteer information. So let's go ahead and take a look at doing a form and filling it out. So let's go ahead and come to the volunteer registration. I'm gonna hit my preview. Let's go ahead and fill this stuff out and make sure that it's currently working. So we've got John Smith, Let's go ahead and put in a phone number for him. Uh, that way it's simple and easier. An email address uh, that we are utilizing to make it simple and easy as uh, the ability to have on here. And yes, what we want to distribute, the times that we want and submit that form. Now with Power Automate, what it's gonna do is it's gonna pull this information and place it in Microsoft Teams. So let's just do a quick check to make sure that went through. Under here, we're able to take a look at the run and you can see we had this run that just occurred. It is successful, so it did do that. So now let's go ahead and go to Microsoft Teams to be able to see what it does. So in that Microsoft Teams, we are gonna go ahead and go to the beta team and look inside that community involvement team. And then look, here's that information that we just posted. So once again, the ability to take information from a Microsoft Forms through Power Automate uh, and notify you on Teams, not only that the form has been completed, but also what information has been done. So thank you.